umbrella. It used to be called the umbellifery um, family, but now it's the Apaceae. So it's like got an umbrella of flowers. These flowers are five petaled. They're an inferior ovary and they have five stamens if we looked at it closely or under a scope. Um, every single flower from this family is like that. Some of them are, are purple, some of them are white, some of them are yellow, but they're all gonna have an inferior two-parted ovary and they're gonna have five stamens and, um, and they're gonna have this umbrella look. Not every single one, but most of them. And then one leaf, thank you plant, this is one leaf and it's, it's a compound leaf, meaning like it looks like it's a bunch of leaflets, but it's really one leaf, hmm. right? And the leaves are generally sheathing, meaning that the, the, they're layered in sheaths. So if you look at this one right here, it's, it's sheathing. It's like, um, like celery. Yeah, like celery. It's, so you see how it's like the leaf base is, what's the word? Yeah, it's a sheath and that's where the other one comes in. Yeah. So, um, so leaf, sheathing leaf bases. <laughs> And like, what is that? <laughs> this leaf is divided three times, right? Then it's divided another three times. Then it's divided another three times. And it's divided another, I don't know how many times. So it's many, it's many times divided. Um, things in this family usually are divided and compound. So this is a typical look of the, of the APACE. And... If we wanted to ID it using Jeff's manual, we would need to wait to the seeds to mature. But um, but this is this is lamation dissecting. And what is it good for? Well, we're not going to talk about that yet. We're okay. going to do our little journey, and then, and then we'll, we're going to talk about it. Then we'll talk about what we get from it. Um, because you know you can read something in a book a zillion times, and then if a plant tells you something, it's a lot easier to uh, remember that and take it in. Um, okay, so. The way that a plant journey works, how many people have done plant spirit journeys? All right, great. So the way that a plant spirit journey works is we're gonna take a little of the medicine or eat a little leaf or just sit with it and we're gonna sit for 15 minutes and we're gonna um, meditate with it. We're gonna ask it to please come to us and share its medicine with us. The main thing about a plant spirit journey is that for the next 15 minutes, we completely dispel disbelief. You can go back to disbelieving that this plant can talk to you in 20 minutes. But for the next 15 minutes, believe that it's possible that you could actually get a download from this plant. And even when we're doing, doing this journey, oftentimes I, I'll be like, did that plant really tell me that? And I just have to keep remembering, dispel disbelief. And one of the main things about learning to talk to plants is that you have to learn what is your internal dialogue and what is the plants. Like I've never had a plant say, you're stupid, you don't know what you're talking about. Right. <laughs> but, like, but I have that, you know, I, I was like, oh, that's my tape. Yeah, that's not the plant for sure. Um, so, so becoming familiar enough with your internal dialogue so you can differentiate, which is where that meditation practice comes in. Um, and then once you ingest the plant, start, start becoming aware of your senses. How does it taste? How, are you, are you, how, does, um, how does it smell? What is, the, what is the sensation in your mouth? What is the sensation in your body? Are you feeling vibrations? Are you feeling it anywhere in your body? Is the, is the energy moving up? Is the energy moving down? Um, are you hearing any thoughts? Are you having particular thoughts? So just really becoming very aware of what is going on um, for you. And what I usually do is I ask the plant, Lomatium, I would love to learn more about your medicine. I know that you've been revered by many native people for millennia. And so much of that knowledge has been gone. And I really would love to know more about your knowledge and use you and care for you and is there a way that you can share your medicine with me so that's one of the things i ask sometimes when i don't know what to ask the plant i ask the plant what should i ask you what what should i ask you what do i need to know um and 
one of the best ways to encourage a relationship through plant spirit journeying is gratitude. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. So that I feel like plants really, they, um, they respond to that. So, 